Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Um, I hope everyone is well. I'll be um, conducting today's class as the day teacher. Um, just a warm welcome to everyone to today's um, at the Silul Quran class and uh, for Mutalimat. Um, please bear with me. It's it's been a while since I've uh, taught a class myself, so um, just just bear with me. Um, I will be um, assisted by the teaching assistant and the um, support teacher as well. Um, can I just remind everyone to make sure that you have maintained respect for the Holy Quran by having performed your wuzu, um, having covered your head, and that you're sitting in a quiet room. Um, please also make sure that you have logged in with the correct ID and that your camera is switched off and that your mic is switched off as well. Um, until we ask you to unmute yourself. Um, if you need to contact uh, the team for any reason at all, you can find the um, you can find uh, the contact details at the bottom of the screen. <clears throat> um, can I ask um, my uh, my team to unmute someone so that they can. Start with the Abu Zantasmi and we can begin with the starting prayers, please. Assalamu alaikum. Can everyone hear me okay? Can I please request G477 to come on the mic? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum salam, G477. Um, can you start with the Abu Zantasmiya, please? Yep. Yeah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm just moving on to the prayers. This one, please. Rabbi al hazal balada an mina wa jinubini wa baniya an na budal asnam. My Lord, make this city a city of peace and keep me and my children away from worshipping idols. Um, I um, <clears throat> I think just remember to um, pronounce the jim um, with the sukun with a kalkala sound. Rabbij al. Otherwise, it was a good jazakallah. Um, moving on to the um, ahadith section, can I ask the team to um, unmute uh, another student to to read one of the hadiths, please? Can I please request? G four seven one to come on the mic. Assalamu alaikum. G four seven one. We are chosen at the ID. I think they're not on the mic. Okay. Oh, I think she is there now. Assalamu alaikum. G four seven one. Anji, um, can you um, can you read the uh, um, hadith, please, with the uh, shrif before, please? Allahu Billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin. كما سليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى على آل 
ابراہیم ان کا حمید مجید جزاک اللہ کین یو ریڈ دس حدیث پلیز ان دا بکس ان ابن عمر رضی اللہ عنہما ان ان رسول رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم قال انما مثل صاحب القران كمثل فمصلي كمثلي صاحب ابل المؤقل ان عاهد عليها امسكها وان اطلقها ذهبت جزاك الله um so i can see that you've um, really tried um, to remember all the rules while reciting that can be difficult sometimes um so well done for that just here in the end um i noticed um just remember to prolong uh, this alif of elongation and um uh, and i think this one as well uh but mostly i think you remembered all the rules and i think there was a ala um uh, here this one this is a lamul jalala the lamb in allah so this one needs to be thick because there is a fatha beforehand rasulullah right rasulullah right jazakallah and the translation hazrat abdullah bin amr radhi allah taala anha anho and narrates and her narrates that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said the example of the person who knows the quran by heart is like the owner of tied camels If he keeps them tied, he will control them. But if he releases them, they will run away. Al-Bukhari number 5, 5031. Um, can we have one more student, please, for the Malfuzat section of today's session? Can I please request G438 to come on the mic? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Um, can you read the saying of the Promised Messiah, alayhi salam, please? A person requested to the Promised Messiah, alayhi salam, that Hazur, kindly pray for me that my tongue may start expressing well. My tongue is not capable of reciting the Holy Quran and does not work well. May it open up. The Promised Messiah, alayhi salam, replied, Keep reciting the Holy Quran with patience. Allah Almighty will loosen the knot of your tongue. There is a blessing in the Holy Quran that it cleanses the mind of a person and the tongue becomes fluent. In fact, even doctors often recommend this as a remedy for such a condition. Malfuzat, Volume 3, page 105. Jazakallah. Very interesting indeed. Jazakallah. We're going to swiftly move on to the quiz. And um, I believe the teaching assistant is going to conduct the quiz. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Jazakallah. So, yes, it's quiz time. And we are going to start our quiz with our question number one. Question number one is, when is a letter called Mushaddad? The options are um, like, uh, option number A is when it carries fatha, B, when it carries dhamma, C, when it carries shadda, and D, when it carries sukoon. Esti, could you please unmute an ID for the answer? Can I please request G422 to come on the mic? G422. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Salam. Um, is it C? C. Jazakallah. And well done. Your answer is correct. So, a letter which carries uh, a shadda is called a mushadad letter. Well done. G422. And next question is, how many commandments are given in the Quran according to the promised Messiah, alayhi salam? Options are A. 300 B. 700 C, 650, and option D is 750 commandments. ST, uh, unmute some other student for the answer. Can I please request G414 to come on the mic? G414, Assalamu alaikum.
G414. Okay, ST, you can unmute any raised hand. Can I please request G454 to come on the mic? Assalamu alaikum. Is it G454? Yes, um, for five, five, the option B is 700. Jazakallah. And well done, your answer is correct. So there are 700 commandments in the Holy Quran according to Promised Messiah. Salam. Well done. Next question is, how many times is the word Allah repeated in the last three surahs? And bear in your mind uh, that uh, Bismillah is also included. Uh, in this in these surahs okay so the options are a two b three c four d five st can we have uh, a student for the answer g four two zero can you come on the mic yes. uh, it's a uh, option number d five five and let's see Yes, you are right. So there are five uh, uh, times or five times the word of Allah uh, is repeated in the last three surahs. Okay, last three whole. Well done. Next question is, what was the first word revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Quran? Whether it is A, Iqra, B, Alhamdulillah, C, Bismillah or D. Utlu. ST, kindly unmute uh, an ID for the answer. Can I please request G465 to come on the mic? G465. Wa alaikum as salam. Option A. Iqra. Jazakallah. And well done. Your answer is correct. So, Iqra uh, is the, was the first word revealed to the Holy Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Last question of our today's quiz is, which of the following chapters or surahs uh, does not pose a question at the beginning? Options are A, chapter 107, Surah Al-Ma'un, B, chapter 78, uh, Surah An-Naba, C, chapter 105, Surah Al-Feel, or is it uh, D, Chapter 75, Suratul Qayama. ST, could you unmute someone else? Oh, Can I please ask G463 to come on the mic? G463, um, Assalamualaikum. So oh, have, you seen, have you seen the answer? Oh, no. Okay, so what's your guess? Um, Chapter 75, Al Qayama, option D. Okay, Jazakallah. And yes, uh, it is the correct uh, answer. So, Suratul Qayama is starting without uh, a question in the beginning. Okay, so well done, Jazakumullah, everyone, for your participation. And let's learn something new from our uh, DT. Jazakumullah. Jazakallah, that was um, excellent. I'm just going to uh, share my screen. Okay. So um, we have, uh, so far you have learned that um, uh, how to do runna, so the nasal sound, and how to do kalkala, the, like the, this jerking, jumping sound of the five letters, Qaf, Taba, Jim, Dal. And then last time, I think on Monday, you learned about the Fhim, which is uh, which are the thick letters, and uh, about the thickness of Ra, and Lam al Jalala, the majestic Lam. Um, for today, inshallah, we're going to be learning about um, Izhar, Noon, Sakin, and the Nween, as well as Izhar, Neem, Sakin. Um, so this is a noon sakin, a noon with a sukun, and these are the nween. So there is a double stroke of dhamma, double stroke of fatha, and double stroke of the kasra. That's the nween, that's noon sakin, and this is neem sakin, a meme with a sukun. 
Um, so there are four rules concerning noon sakin and tanween. Um, is uh, these are four, but we're today only going to learn about this first one is har. Um, so there are is har, ikhfa, idram, and iglab. And as I said, we're going to learn about izhar, which is the clear pronunciation or manifestation of um of the letter of the noon. Um next, um just going to go over this slide. Um basically uh you do izhar, um so you um um uh, you you read the noon sakin or the tanween without a prolonged nasal sound if any of the following letters um, come after them. So these are uh, called huruful haliki, letters of throat, also called huruful ishar because you do ishar. Um, so you don't do any prolonged nasal sound like, like with the noon mushadad. Um, you don't do that if after the noon um, uh, after uh, the noon uh, with the sukun or the um, noon um, or the nween, uh, after if after that any of these letters come, then you just read it normal like a, a noon sound for one second. Um, so this may sound confusing, but um, just bear with me. We're going to make it a little bit clearer. So the the, the letters that I had mentioned. So this is uh, in one category: alif and hamza. Uh, because both of them make the same sound. So that's one letter, Alif or Hamza. There's Kha, Ghain, Ha, Ain, and Ha. So if any of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, if any of these uh, six letters um, come after a noon with the Sukun or Tanween, then we make a clear noon sound for one second. So I have a few examples here that I'm going to go over and then we can also practice, inshallah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. So there we can see a noon with the sukoon here and it is followed by a um one of the uh six letters that we read above. It's followed by ain. So in that case, we're not going to make a nasal sound. We're going to clearly manifest the noon sound. So we're going to say an amta, not an amta. So clearly manifest the noon sound for one second, an amta. Um, and then this one is a tanween. Um, and this also obviously makes a, a noon sound, rabbun. Um, after that, it's followed by a rain, which we have just learned is also one of the letters of izhar. So in this case as well, we're going to clearly say the uh, the tanween or the noon sound. Rabbun ghafurun. Um, so no nasal sound here as well. And then we have um, a couple more here. Maybe it might be good if um, we could have a, a student on the mic for practice. There's there's more um, examples below, but maybe for these three as well. Can I please request G four eight one to come on the mic? Assalamualaikum. G four eight one. Yes. Um. So. Uh, can you uh, start with Bismillah and then read this word, the first one? A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Yan awna Okay, and can you tell me why you didn't make a nasal sound here? What was the reason for that? Uh, because of the Hamza. Okay, well done. So that's exactly right. How about the next one? An amta. Yep. And why did you not make a nasal sound here? Uh, because of the ain. Well done. Um, and how about the third word? Man amana. Uh, yep. And you made a clear manifestation of the noon. Why was that? Um... So you said man amana instead of mal amana. Can you just explain why you did that with the other two? You explained it as um, well. Be, I don't really know, actually. 
<laughs> that's okay. That's that's why we're here. So it's because of this um alif that's followed um that follows the noon. So the noon with the sukun, the noon uh, sakin is followed by alif here, and we have learned that if there is a alif or any of the other letters right. um, after the uh, noon sakin, then we make no nasal sound, but we just say it um as a clear noon sound. Man amana. That's why. Okay. Uh, do you want to do um maybe these three as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yen so these are, these are all these are all sorry these are all practices um uh, practice words from the um Holy Quran. So you mm -hmm. can um you've done the Alif and Hamza. How about you do the one with the rain? Basa mm yunri -hmm. zuna. Yes. Min Rillin. Mm -hmm. Rabbun Rafurun. Okay, well done. Uh, with the Shadda, you have to pronounce it a little bit more with force, I guess. Min Rillin. Mm -hmm. Min Rillin. Well done. Dazakila. Um, can we have another student for practice, please? ST. G four zero five. Assalamu alaikum. G four zero five. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Um, can you read this first one, Alif slash Hamza? Uh, yes. Example. Zakila. Alhamdulillahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yan auna. So this one, can you tell me which letter this is? Uh, is this Hamza? Yes, Hamza. So Hamza is often mistaken for Ain. Hamza makes the alif sound. Okay. Yan awuna. Well done. Man amana. Yep. So this one, um, I it sounded like you prolonged it a little bit more than it should have been. So don't say man uh, because it's not mu noon mushadad. It's noon sakin. Man amana. Man amana. Yep. So there is no shadda on the sorry, there's no shadda on the lam. So we don't say kullun, we say kulun. Um it oh. might be a mistake in uh, printing, but the way that it's written here, it's uh kulun amana. But I, I think you're right, it probably is kulun, but the way that is written, that's what I mean. Okay. Um yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine, Dazakula. Um ST, do we have uh, time to um, do more practice or should we move on? It's time for practice, please. Assalamu We are going to do surah practice. So, inshallah, um, if we will have time, we will do next bit of the lesson later. And let me share my screen for surah okay. practice. Okay. Jazakallah, Diti. Okay, I hope it is visible now. So let's start uh, the recitation practice. ST, I need an ID for that. Can I request ID G481? Come on the mic, please. G481, Assalamu alaikum. G481. Okay, could you try uh, unmuting her again? Assalamu okay. alaikum. Assalam. So it is uh, IDG481, yes? Yes. Okay. Could you please start recitation? And you can start from verse number 42. And we are starting uh, a new uh, ruku of the surah. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wadhkur abdana ayyuba idna da rabbahu anni masaniyash anni 
مسانی شیطانو بن اسپم و عذاب جزاک اللہ اوکے دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ تھنگ ہیئر از دس میم سائن اوکے سو اٹ انڈیکیٹس اٹ ایکسپلینس ہیئر ان دا بسائڈ رکو سائن دیٹ اٹ از وقف لازم اوکے سو اٹ از اے کمپلسری اسٹاپ وی کین ناٹ کنٹینیو ایف ویئر ایور وی سی دس میم سائن اوکے سو اٹ از اے کمپلسری اسٹاپ یو the reader should stop here okay so try uh, reading this again until uh, the word uh, ba and don't forget to change this ba into a ba sakin while stopping wazkur abdana ayyub perfect so what change did you bring uh, to this uh, ba uh, which rule applies on this ba while stopping Uh, the kalkala perfect exactly so the moder um, the medium kalkala okay mm -hmm. you applied that rule on it so uh, it is also called moderate kalkala um, and here and this ra should we pronounce it with thick sound or thin sound mm, thin sound it should be pronounced with a thick sound okay because its previous letter is carrying uh, a dhamma whenever uh, ra is quite tricky letter uh, it is uh, pronounced conditionally thick sometimes some uh, at some places it is pronounced in thin sound uh, it depends where it is and uh, which stroke it has but here if ra is sakin and its previous letter is carrying dhamma or fatha so it should be pronounced in a thick sound okay and uh, here um, you wanted to stop but uh, you were um, you didn't make a proper work so suppose you are stopping on this uh, this word how um, should you recite how should you stop start from here anni masani perfect so this ya uh, maftuf ya can be changed into a yasakin while stopping and suppose you are starting from here so what stroke should this alif take alif this uh, as a bit, i mean um i don't know the uh... okay it, it is called uh, hamzatul wasl and it takes fatha when it is uh, followed by a uh, lam okay so it becomes ashaytan if you are starting from here yes and on the last uh, letter and this is munavvan ba it means it has a tanmeen of kasrat and on it but we have to stop because it is the sunna of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to stop on each uh, verse so um which rule uh, you applied on this ba while stopping kalkala uh, yes again kalkala and again it is medium kalkala because we change it into a basakin and it it's coming at the end of a verse so jazakallah g481 for the recitation st can we have uh, another id can i request id g459 come on the mic please okay G four five nine. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Um, could you please start the recitation with Abus and Tasmia? Yes, please. Uz billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Or could or could be rajilik okay it is be rajilik zakala or or could be rajilik as a muktasalam muktasal Salam ba yeah. ba ridun wa 
شراد جزاك الله اوكي سو كود يو برونونس ذس بوك ساين اجين From the start of the verse. Yeah. Or could. Next word. Be rich. Jazakillah. So do you know um, which rule you applied on this Jim Sakin? That's a sukun. Yes, Jim Sakin is uh, having a sukun sign on it. So how should we pronounce it? Reggie. Yes, with the jerking sound. So yes. we apply the rule of Kalkala and oh. uh, we will do a light Kalkala or light jerk on this word. Okay. Yes, and what you. type of uh, letter is Dod? Dod is a thick letter. Perfect, Jazakallah, well done. And here, while the recitation, you uh, uh, mispronounced this letter, but you rectified your mistake. But uh, yes. another addition you should do that you should prolong this uh, lam sound while connecting it with uh, ba. Okay. Uh, well, Inshallah, okay. we will learn about this rule uh, of the mean uh, of uh, noon uh, in our next class or uh, in some up. Um, coming classes but the rule is here after the mean you had to prolong uh, this uh, uh, letter or its sound while changing it into meme sound okay so it is the mean and we will change it, it into meme sound so it becomes okay okay just yes please thank you and uh, last question uh, do you know what type of alif is it? Al mad alif madia. Exactly, you are right, mashallah. So it is alif madia. And how do we recognize alif madia? Um, it's preceded by a fatah. Excellent, um, well done. Yeah. So it is preceded by a maftu letter. Jazakallah, mashallah. G four five nine. Zakila for recitation. ST, can we have another ID? Yes. Can I request ID G444? Come on the mic, please. G, uh, sorry, say again, please. G444. Okay, G444. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, G444. Assalamu alaikum. Before oh. that, can G418 and G419? Please join the breakout room. G418 and G419, you can join breakout room if you can see a notification of joining breakout room on your screens. Assalamu alaikum, G444, are you with us? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, Sakila. Uh, could you start recitation from verse number 43? Okay. <clears throat> A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Urqud bi rijlik. هذا مختثل بارد وشراب ووهبنا له وأخله ومثله مع رحمة رحمة من Jazakallah, mashallah. You recited melodiously. 
and your pronunci pronunciation is also uh, good mashallah so let me ask some uh, rules or let me ask about some signs uh, so can you recognize this uh, sign what is it called madde mutasir uh, I don't know. I need to remember these things. So, Madde Munfasil or Mutasil? I think so. Mutasil is a connecting mud. It is connecting mud because next letter is a word or its first letter is also involved in it, but it is called Madde Munfasil. Okay. Munfasil. Or okay, detached, detached elongation. Okay. Detached. And it, it comes uh, in the end of uh, a word. Yes. So to recognize this, it is called detached mud, and it in uh, Arabic it is called maddemun fasil. And what is the rule for maddemun fasil or this kind of elongation? Uh, we need to make it longer, is it from the four to five seconds or three, Yes, three to four seconds. You are right, Zakila. And uh, what type of elongation is it? The inverse demo. And uh, it's a how... double. Uh, like a double uh, two, 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 two dots or yes two seconds it should be prolonged for two seconds at least and uh, here you prolong this meme so do you think uh, it's correct uh, I said it's ma'ahum okay this meme should be pronounced with clear short and clear sound okay so I done it you prolong this meme Oh, okay. Okay, so it is Ma'ahum Rahma. Okay, so and here, mashallah, you uh, stopped according to the rules of work. You changed this timer buta with tanmin into a uh, ha. Uh, ha. That is correct. Well done. And what type of known is, uh, is it? This is a dharam. No, uh, what uh, sign is on the top? This is uh, known. Yes, Mushadunun. And do you know the rule for Mushadunun? Yes. It should be pronounced how? Is a, we need to make a stress on this letter. Uh, yes, on the sound. sound. Yes, Gona sound or with nasalization. Gona sound. or nasalization. So it is, and it takes no more or less than two seconds to be pronounced. Okay. And uh, how we use this vowel, do you know? Oh, both. Oh, this is a harfe uh, uh, lean. Uh, no, because no. it is strokeless. Okay, blank vowel. So we do not use blank letters which come oh, yes. in between the words. So we ignore these letters well, well, well. and join mutharak letter with another mutharak or uh, mushadat letter. Okay, so we will totally ignore this vowel. It is strokeless vowel, right? And you were saying about. Uh, Bao Madhya, uh, Bao oh, yeah. Madhya always takes a sukun sign on top of it. Mm -hmm. And whenever uh, the example of Bao Madhya will come, we will share with uh, horse students, okay? Okay, Zakina. So, Jazakila, G444, Mashallah, you recited well. Zakina. ST, can we have uh, another student? Can I request IDG464 come on the mic, please? G four six four. Assalamu alaikum. G four six four. Okay, ST, you can have someone else on mic. Uh, can I request ID G four five eight? Come on the mic, please. G four five eight. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you doing? Uh, Alhamdulillah, and yourself? Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah for asking. And could you please start recitation from verse number 45? Uh, yes. Bismillah rahman rahim وَخُذْ بِيَدِكَ الدِّغْفًا فَاضْرِبْ بِهِ وَلَا تَهْنَثْ 
Jazakallah, Okay, uh, here I felt, mashallah, overall we recited well, but here uh, uh, I, I felt like you are um, pronouncing this zal with a jerking sound. So try pronouncing this zal with the, uh, like softly. And uh, when we pronounce zal, the tip of our uh, tongue touches top to uh, teeth lightly, okay? So make a light and soft sound of uh, zal without any uh, jerk, okay? Without shaking the letter. So try pronouncing this uh, word again and stop here according to the rule uh, of waqf. Okay. Perfect. So you change this kaf, maftuf kaf into a kaf sakin uh, to stop here. That is good. And uh, otherwise, mashallah, you recite it um, well. Uh, can you find any other uh, jerking letter in this line? Um, so, uh, ba. Good. And jim. Where is jim? Oh, no, sorry, that's this at one? the beginning. No, yeah, sorry. no it's a dal. I'm sorry, sorry. Dal, yes, it it's dal. never. Yes, next word dal is a uh, kalkala uh, letter or jerking letter. And what type of alif is it? Um, I, I'm so sorry. I don't know what it's called, but I know you prolong that for two seconds. Um, Perfect. You know the rule, and its name is, or the rule of uh, name of the rule is alif madhya. So how we recognize alif madhya? A blank alif is always preceded by a maftuk letter. Then it is called alif madhya. Okay. Thank you. And uh, what rule you applied on this bar while stopping? It is manavan bar. It is having a stroke of the mean on top of it. So how um, uh, would we change it while stopping? Uh, into a bar sakin. And with which rule applies on this bar again? With a kalkala. Oh. What type of kalkala? Um, a moderate. Yes, moderate. Moderate kalkala. So good, mashallah. Jazakallah. G four five eight. Well done. Jazakallah. Next ID. Uh, could you please, ST? Could you please unmute uh, another student? Yes, can I request ID G446? Come on the mic, please. G446, Assalamu Alaikum. G446, you can unmute your mic. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullah. And could you start recitation from verse number 46? Anjay. Kitabus <laughs> Inna akhlasna hum bi khali satin zikrattar. Zakillah. Your recitation is good, but there are uh, a few corrections for you to um, for improvement. So first thing I should mention is the tabus. Okay. You know, we learned today about uh, six throat letters. Can you name those letters? Um, it's um, um, it's Rhein. Yes. Um, Ein Rhein, Kof, Tor, 
no, 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 it's not za. Okay, the throat letters are alif, hamza, ha, ain ha, and ghain kha. These are also called letter of ishar. So we have uh, two throat letters in the word auzu. Okay, but their articulation points are different, alif and ain. Okay, so alif should be pronounced in soft voice and ayn should be pronounced uh, in uh, a bit deeper voice. Okay, so yeah. with uh, a little more effort, I should say. So it is auzu. Try to distinguish between the sounds of alif and ayn. Both are pronounced from the throat, but their articulation points are a little different. Okay, so could you try the abuz only again? A'uzu billah. Sorry, all of it? Okay. Yes. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Jazakillah. And let's go back to, you know, towards the recitation a bit. Okay. Um, mashallah, you were reciting well uh, till here. So here um, you change this stroke of fatha into stroke of uh, dhamma i think so it is called uh, lahne jali or a major mistake because these uh, or these type of mistakes can change the mm, meaning of the word or the structure of the word okay mm -hmm. so we should uh, try avoiding uh, this type uh, or any type of mistakes while in the recitation so it is ya okay and mm -hmm. uh, here, um, I just mentioned a black letter, uh, blank letter in, in previous verse. It is also a vow. Here is also a blank letter. So we will not uh, um, use it while um, pronouncing the word. Okay. So keep this dhamma short because next letter is uh, strokeless. So we do not. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, we do not apply the rule of mada on this vow. Okay, so it is. Uh, um, can you try uh, reciting this word again? Tell yeah. Ulil Aidi. Okay, try to keep uh, Alif uh, Ul short just for yeah. one second. Ul Ulil Ulil Aidi. Perfect. So it is uh, um, correct now. Ulil Aidi. And why you pronounce this Alif with soft sound? It's a. Uh, um... It's um, her, uh, her felin. Yes, yeah. it's followed by yasakin, and the rule of lean or softness applies on it. Yeah. That is correct. And uh, what about this alif? This is um, alif madhya. So this person, it's, um, it's followed by um, this fata letter before it. Yes. So yeah. I will prolong it for two seconds. Well done. Jazakillah G4, uh, 4 6 for the recitation. ST, can we have, uh, I think, one last ID for the recitation? Yes. <clears throat> can I request ID G461 to come on the mic, please? G461, Assalamu Alaikum. <clears throat> G four six one. Okay, uh, we are left with a few minutes, and I think I should uh, give mic to ODT because uh, a bit of uh, or lesson was left. So let's learn about uh, the remaining part of the lesson. So I'm handing over to DT. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. <clears throat> yes, uh, we uh, still have to go over just the last bit of um, of the lesson. And I'm going to share my screen. I hope everyone can uh, see the screen now. Um, yeah, so we have um, just a little bit more left that I'm going to go over now. Um, so we learned that if there is um, any of these letters, um, if there's any of these uh, six letters, um, Alif or Hamza, uh, what is uh, counts as one? Kha, Ghain, Ha, Ain, Oha. 
If any of these come after a noon with the sukun or tanween, then we make a normal noon uh, nasal sound for one second manifestation. Um, so uh, we don't make a nasal sound, we make a clear noon sound, I mean. Um, then we did this a uh, little bit of practice. Um, we uh, are going to go over the rule of meme sakin now. It's very straightforward. Um, it's called izhar shafawi. And this means that the sound of meme sakin, sakin will be pronounced clearly without elongation for one uh, second or one beat if any letter other than meme or ba appears next to it. So there are 26 letters um, and um, uh, and these are referred to as Izhar uh, Shafari. These are the letters um, that um, they're also called labial manifestation. I think I mentioned it at the start. Um, did I not? Okay, maybe I didn't. Um, so... Um, Basically, what this means is um, if uh, a meme with a sukun like here, if a meme sakin um, <clears throat> is uh, not followed by another meme or a, um, a bar after it, then any of the other letters they get, sorry, um, any of the other letters um, they do not get uh, uh, they don't get prolonged. Um, so, for example, in this first one, um, it's a meme with the sukun, it's a, um, a meme sakin, and there is no bar and there is no meme following it. So in that case, we just make a normal meme sound for one second. Um, um, the same applies to here. There is a meme with the sukun. The next letter is not a meme and it's not a bar. So we um, say the meme for one second in a normal clear manifestation. And we do is hard. Shafawi lahum fiha. We don't prolong the meme sound. Um, so I think that uh, these are, um, this should be clear now. Uh, here uh, is um, what I was looking for above. Um, so there are six letters for the Izha, Nun, Sakin, and Dunween. These are Alif, Hamza, Kha, Rain, Ha, Ain, and Ha. These letters. Oh, goodness me. I don't know what's happening. Sorry. Um, and then there are 26 letters um, where um, we don't, where we, the, well, the rest of the letters basically are 26, um, 26 letters that uh, we have to, um, sorry, bear with me. It's been a long time since I've taught a lesson. I'm a little bit nervous today. Um, I hope we, I'm not confusing anyone. Yes, sorry. we um, Yes, we manifest meme on these 26 letters. Yes, yes, Tazakala, yes. So the meme uh, will be said clearly for one second for the 26 other letters, um, if they're not meme or bar. Um, so does anyone want to just, um, maybe I can just read this uh, because we're sort of uh, coming towards the end of the lesson. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Lakum deenukum waliya deen. So I didn't say lakum dinukum. I said lakum dinukum because the meme with the sukun is not followed by another meme or a bar. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and uh, then this is a uh, practice for nun sakin. There is a nun sakin followed by ha here. Um, so we will say um, uh, the nun. Uh, we will... Um, say it properly and don't make a nasal sound. So we will say man harama and the same applies to the tanween that we can see here. Li min azimin. The tanween is, is followed by one of these six letters. So we say um, the tanween clearly. We don't make a nasal sound. Um, this is a little bit more practice for the meme uh, 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 the meme with the sukun, uh, meme sakin. Alayhim tuayran ababil. Um, so we don't say alayhim tuayran. We just say it for one second because this meme with the sukun is not followed by a meme or a bar. Um, 
so um so just to make this clear if the meme was followed by a meme another meme or a bar then in that case we would prolong it for two seconds okay so like for this example it would be lagum and then whatever word would start with a meme or a bar um it would be prolonged for two seconds in that case i hope that it's clear uh and i haven't confused anyone um i think that's that's it from from my side um do we have anyone that would like to uh, maybe just read a little bit of, of this box um and it is enough time okay i think we've run over time now um so uh for for all the participants that were raising their hands sorry we couldn't get to you um so we're gonna just end the session now and we're going to um read the the prayer um it's slightly shorter so i think it's a good choice for um for the end of the class and i think i'll just read that myself Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta al-alim Our Lord, accept this from us, for thou art all-hearing, all-knowing. Uh, Jazakallah everyone for bearing with me. Uh, hopefully next lesson will we'll work out better, inshallah. And... Um, inshallah until then just one more announcement i've been asked to make um <clears throat> if you need to contact uh, the team uh, <clears throat> this team for g4 you can uh, contact us on the email address that you get the reminders for the classes um on you can contact us via that if it's regarding this class um, if you have a more general um, question or want to find out more about the other courses then you can uh, email this taqwa email address Okay, Jazakallah, Asna Jazakallah, Jazakallah, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.